What's up, everybody? Today, I'm taking a listen to the legendary tones, Mr. Scary Hot Mod. Now, this is an evolution of the original Hot Mod, the Hot Mod uh, V2 EVO, and the Lynch Mod before it. And what they've done here is they've refined this tone a little bit even more. And then they've changed this tube from a 12AX7 to a 12AT7. In this case, this is an ECC81 and an ECC83. They are the exact same thing as a 12AT7 and a 12AX7. Now, what that does is it lowers the gain just a little bit, and it refines and enriches the overall sound. You still have a gain knob here with plenty of gain on tap, and then the deep function in or out. Now, this is designed to go into a low to medium gain amplifier like a JCM 800 2203 or 2204 or a Super Lead 1959 or 1987. It is not designed to go into a 5150 or a dual rectifier or some other high gain amplifier. I'm going to leave a link in the description so you can see if it works with your amp. So let's hear it in a mix. So what I've decided to do for the mix is I'm boosting the front end with an MXR custom modified badass overdrive. Now, when you boost in front of an amplifier with an overdrive pedal, you shelve a little bit of low end going in. Now, what that does is it tightens up the sound, but it also sometimes can take too much low end out depending on what you're doing and what amp you're using and what boost you're using. Um, that's where the deep function in this guy comes in. I leave this deep function up and it adds that girth back into the tone after I've boosted. So that's what I've got going on here. Let's take a listen. Well, that was the Mr. Scary Mod in a mix. Now let's take a listen to the Mr. Scary Mod and the two previous models uh, on their own with just a single riff. I'm just going to play the exact same riff. I'm going to do one example boosted and one example unboosted. For the unboosted section, I'm going to leave the deep function off because it tends to tighten up the sound a little bit without the boost. For the boost section, like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to turn the deep knob up so I can get that girth back. Let's take a listen to the Mr. Scary module first. And by the way, the amp, pedal, mic, preamp, all that kind of settings are all exactly the same for everything that you're listening to today. For the mix section, for the individual section, everything is the exact same. <laughs> Now let's take a listen to the Lynch mod. So this one has a little bit more gain on tap because it has a 12AX7 in each slot. So to reflect that, I've lowered the gain on the gain pot just a little bit. And just like the previous example, uh, unboosted will have the deep off and boosted will have the deep on. Let's take a listen. <laughs> Now let's take a listen to the Hot Mod V2 EVO. Now this one also has 12AX7s in both slots. Um, what it doesn't have, it doesn't have a gain pot. So it has a gain switch. So down is lower gain, up is higher gain. 
So since I've been using higher gain sounds in the previous two modules, I'm gonna leave it in the higher gain setting. Once again, unboosted will have the deep off and boosted will have the deep on. Well, that's all three examples. Which one did you like the best? I know which one I like the best. It's the Mr. Scary. And it's because the bottom end just sounded better unboosted and boosted. It unboosted, it was still tight-ish uh, and, and full. And then boosted with the deep function on, I could get that real kind of girthy bottom end and keep it tight. The other two sound great, but their bottom end response is totally different. Um, I would like to say that I think I'm probably going to change. I didn't have any 12 AT7s laying around, but I think I'm going to try to grab a couple and change them and put them in the other modules because I think there's something to that. So anyway, thanks for checking this video out. We'll see you next time.